So, hey, Dad. I have, I, I have, I have, so, I have something to report. Yeah, what's that? So the crimson dude, I I beat him. I beat him. Beat I, I said I would boss? beat him. It wasn't all right. Yeah, okay, yeah. So so that's what we're gonna watch, like 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 normal. But it 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 was not Nameless King by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. You were absolutely right. And I I think my one of my biggest the biggest difference with the crimson, the Lord of, uh, the Lord the Lord of the the Lord of Cinders. Lord of Cinder. Okay, Lord I see, of keep Cinder. saying crimson. Boy, I I'm gonna hear about that because I keep saying crimson. Lord of Cinder. The, the difference between Lord of Cinder is I felt Lord of Cinder was a much more forgiving boss when you made mistakes. Yes. In, in general. And I think that's what made him easier. It still took me about 80 tries. So it, 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 and that was without a dragon. And so, you know, if I had just been able to start with the, with the king uh, and not been that frustrated and tired and whatever. So maybe. Right. Maybe. <clears throat> but, but I... Uh, but once you get the dance going and all that stuff, but it, it, it got very frustrating too because he has a couple of moves that, and there were just and that the, his 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 poker, that stick when he would transform to the stick. I hated the magic at first, and magic was my favorite part, was the easiest part for me as long as I could dodge the, dodge the uh, the the sword because that's a long fucking sword. That sword just got reached when he's when he's doing the magic stuff. So, all right, so. Uh, we didn't we didn't double check, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to hear this. So we will go ahead and play it. So this is the this is the final uh, run, and you can see yep. you can see it fine. I can okay. see it, <clears throat> and I can hear it. <clears throat> and he always got me at the beginning. I just I always had a hard time at this. The except for that there. time. <laughs> yeah, that initial start of the boss fight, rush attack. It reminded me a lot of the two princes, where you just always felt like you were just getting owned for right. half of your health bar. Right, good dodge though. there. Nice. Yeah, your dodging at forward has gotten so much better. It's when I, because I, I still have to tell myself, but when I really focus on... Are you still there? I'm still here. Okay, all right, so that was just... That was yeah, just that the was the footage, yep. Yeah, because I was like, because you're just standing there, I'm like looking at you and like, oh, here we go again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I... Finishing Dark Souls 3 on a boom. Right, he was fun. Of... He was yeah. frustrating, but he was fun. Yeah, Lord of Cinders, he's just a, he's just a very feisty dude. Oh, yeah, he's got the marshmallow powers. Yep. Well, this time I oh, did not. Oh, yeah, that clipped you. Yeah, it did, and I was getting so good at okay. actually getting behind him. Yeah, now he's conscious of the fire sword. Uh, nice little swipey swipes. More marshmallow balls coming at you. Okay, nice yeah. All right. And I never I, I never quite got the double dodge, the double roll that you needed to do with that one. Yeah, no, double, <laughs> double, double dodge. Oh... That was the second time he had done that to me. So here I was, I was kind of like, and I'm like, here we go, because you'll see in the, well, if people want to watch the training, the training's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more like highlights. Okay, so this is what, the Artorias form? Yeah, so now, now, yes. Now he's transforming into the Gwen, right. which is the second phase of the final fight. And then this was just hit and miss. I, I either got into a good rhythm with him, and got close, and I did get very close. I mean, I'm pretty sure. And this again, I, I knew I set. needed to go back. I knew by then that I needed, but I wasn't quite. It wasn't automatic enough. The moves that he uses is actually the exact same move set, I believe, as the final boss of Dark Souls One. So this is, you're basically re-fighting the final boss in the first game, in this game. Well, it took me a lot more time, a lot more tries this time. Well, you were Giant Dad in the first game. In this game, <laughs> you were Dragon Slayer with a katana. Not quite as straightforward in the play style. But you know what, I'm glad we didn't go for Chunky and, and Big Huge Sword. You know, right. I'm glad we did sort just like we we were talking about doing parrying. Yeah, variety for this, for this for, you know, really, really working on parrying with Bloodborne. Yeah, and 
then this one was fine as soon as I the double roll. Uh, you just yep. if you do if you don't do the double roll, you get it hits you in the eye. And again, just like Artorias, he was fun. Right. He got frustrating sometimes, and that fucking kicking. Bullshit. Yeah, the kicking. I don't know what it is. Even it doesn't do a lot of damage. There's just something disrespectful about it's like being tweaking kicked. your nose. You know, it's like you know, it's like if you're gonna fucking hit me, hit yeah, me. Yeah, fucking don't hit me. Yeah, I agree. Kick me like a bitch. <laughs> I mean, granted, kicking can sometimes be good to stagger your opponent. It's really more of like a like a support maneuver than it is a a damage. Yep, all of the lightning. Oh, that's right. I don't yeah. think. And when... then, and then I got caught again here, and you can see, Robin can see my reaction. Uh, you, you can. Yeah, you can if you go to the, to the training, for this. For... And and I, I will not call him, the crimson, the crimson anything. It's Cinder, Lord of Cinder. Lord of I will Cinder. have the name right on the. On the thumbnail. Oh no, but it's I the will soul be calling of Cinder. Crimson. Sorry, it's specifically the soul of Cinder. Soul of Cinder. It's it's the souls of previous Lords of Cinder, essentially conglomerated into one being. That's and that's why he keeps going to different to different yeah, magic and Yeah, he transforms swords into and, different yeah. different Lords of Cinder. I he was fun. He was a lot of fun. It it, it, it was like. Uh, and then when I and think then, it was the almost the. The, fr the level of Artorias, the challenge level of Artorias for me, but without the frustration, because by now I'm used to boss boss training is is taking the yeah. time to. This is getting this is getting heated. I mean, he's got a fire sword, so it's literally heated. And he got me there, and I got lucky there. And then all of a sudden, I think this is when I was looking up and going, holy shit, I've almost got him, because I wasn't paying attention. Oh. So you weren't aware I, of how close you were. Yeah, and then now I'm drinking, and now I'm like, oh, now don't fuck it up. Because I had one of my trainings where I, I had him almost like this, and I tried oh, yeah. to drink twice Sliver. instead of just hit him once. That's And you can see my reactions, like, is that it? It wasn't, it, it was not Ooh, nearly the... Nice! Yeah, he so. did it! Good job, Dad. All right. So, yeah. You beat, you beat the final boss of Dark Souls 3. So the one thing I didn't do... Yeah? ...is I didn't do anything past this. So do you want to go, do you want to go light that, uh... Light oh, absolutely. Kindle that, uh... I wanted Let to us... save that for you because I didn't know what happened and I didn't, and I'm sure in this game, yep. you can't do it again unless you fucking... No, nope, you know, nope. go and it's conquer one, everything. It's a one-time cutscene. Yeah, well, you know, at least, at least, you know, you unlock certain features that you at least be able to go. In. I know, I guess there's some cheats, but I wouldn't want to put a cheat on and and because I, I I I don't do any of that shit. So I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to risk getting my account uh, in if jeopardy. If you do it in offline mode, I would mode. love to go and and fight some of these bosses again. Just just for the. Dad, just for the just for the fun of it. What? That if you go okay. into offline mode, you won't get into trouble. It's when it's an oh, offline okay. mode. Okay, so offline. Do the game offline. Yeah. At, just if you do it online, then yes, you might get into trouble. But if it's offline, it's strictly a single player game at that point. You're free to do whatever you want to your single player experience. But if you're going to take it online, then you will need to remove those cheats. A few moments later. All right, so oh, I see. Okay, so we yeah, didn't. Go forward. So we got to go back up there. Yeah, just go forward up the hill. Okay. Well, while we're doing that, thank you for watching season two. Of thank you very much, Game everyone. Guys. We, we appreciate your appreci support yes. so much. It, it was. It's been an excellent time. And we still got we season looking, three. We are looking forward to Bloodborne, and we are going to be doing some other stuff this year including likely we're going to be starting to do some live streaming live streaming yes all right dad now dad so here we are this is dad, it right yeah dad one second one second before you get okay. started all right so do I you didn't see this anything. little summon symbol just next to the orange lines on the ground this thing right here yes this. yes go hover over it go ahead and press a to summon the firekeeper Okay. Summon Press, the fire yep, keeper. Yes. 
<clears throat> oh, does this actually make the decision? I thought it was just a normal summon. I think you still get the decision, though. Well, it's, it's, it's okay. Now, we gave her her eyes back, right? Or is this yes. a different one? No, no, no. This is the same. The same one. She's that hotter. She's hotter in, in movie mode. <laughs> yes. Agreed. <laughs> it's so funny. As, as, as violent as this game can be, it's so gentle at just the right times. And it's always just so beautiful. Except for when it's ugly down in the marsh or the poison shit, yucky stuff. Yeah. So what's she doing right now? She Is she... Uh... Is this like a restoring light to the... To... Uh, this is a potential... It's another... You can either light it up or extinguish the flame. Fades. It's, okay, she's talking now. Darkness will shortly settle. But one day... Oh, one day that was the decision. The darkness. Okay, I'm sorry, Dad. I thought you could summon her and then you could make the decision. Like but linked by summoning her was... Yep, so... What, well, what was summoning she, her? She's extinct. Well, when you summon her, she extinguishes the flame. So this is the, the dark the dark mode ending. By the way, you can still maneuver your character right now. Well... Oh. Yep. And that's that. The fire fades Hashimoto. and darkness... Hearest thou my voice still? Yeah, I'm sorry, Dad. I, I meant to give you the decision. I thought... End of... Okay, so... You got well, the secret darkness. That's the right? end! <laughs> I was kind of hoping to see the whole place light up and... Like, yeah, I'm sorry, that was my bad. And... I, thought, I thought you could summon her, and then you'd have this big dramatic decision. I forgot that when you summoned her, that was the decision. Well, I mean, you lit it up in the first game, and now we got darkness in the second game. Granted, I thought... I, I misunderstood how that was going to play out. I am sorry for that. I remembered that. Yeah, Robin, you Robin, it's her. really, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I, but it was I'm... your, it was your gameplay. You should have chosen the ending you wanted. And I accidentally chose for you, thinking I was, I was trying to set up a dramatic. What's the decision going to be? And it was, and that, and it was already there, and I missed it. Because I thought you summoned her, and then you then you could either talk to her or, or touch the bonfire. Well, if, if getting to meet her in high def, that's that's yes. right. I am not going to I am not going to hang on that decision. But that was a proxy decision. I would have chosen giving myself up to light up the whole place. Well, actually, until the next one comes along, and hopefully they can do the same. When you when you when you light it up. The ending's actually not as dramatic because you kind of just sit there, like, literally in front of the bonfire. A few moments later. Now that we're out of the mess and I can hear everything and I'm not swearing my head off, thank you very much. We, we do, we do appreciate so much. Thank and we are for... looking forward to Bloodborne. Yes. Uh, we're actually about to start that right now.